Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Wanted to introduce you to a fabulous uh, uh, new device that uh, that we have just launched. This is November 20, 2013, and as of today this device is available for purchase. It's been a while in the works. Um, it was a bit of a, a, a stretch for us uh, on the ham radio digital side. Um, uh, Harden Power Systems is accustomed to building Harden gear, but uh, uh, to take uh, the, these uh, particular, uh, uh, this particular group of devices and, and put them in a package as small as this is was a lot of fun and it wasn't easy. Um, I, I'm sure the guys that have seen some of the home-brewed versions uh, can appreciate that, uh, that what we've managed to do here is, uh, is a package that includes the Raspberry Pi, the DVAP dongle, uh, a nice 3-amp USB uh, power supply, um, we've remoted all the the uh, the the interface points with the Pi, um, at least certainly all the common ones: the USB and the RCA, the audio, um, the uh, the Ethernet. Um, uh, we've taken all these uh, all these devices and we put them in a in a real clean, very tough. Um, uh, uh, we think a very well thought out um, package. In any event, this is it. It's about eight and a half inches by five and a half inches by three. The housing is a uh, is 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 HDPE. It's one of our favorite materials for very rugged um, uh, enclosures and face plates and things. Folks that are familiar with our juice boxes and tough pups have seen us use HDPE quite a bit. Um, the two end caps are a half inch thick. The housing is a quarter inch thick. So this is not flimsy stuff. Um, uh, we are sometimes accused of overbuilding stuff, and uh, uh, amen. We appreciate that, and uh, we're, we're uh, guilty as charged. So the case is is uh, is, is very tough. Um, we had some challenges. For example, the nature of the DVAP um, being a, a a transceiver, even though it's only 10 milliwatts. Um, you know, we couldn't fall back on what we're perhaps more accustomed to, which is aircraft aluminum cases, which are obviously very durable, but uh, not going to work if you're going to try to send a, a wireless signal through them. Um, uh, and not only is there the the uh, the radio uh, transceiver and the DVAP, but there's also uh, a dongle uh, that can run uh, wirelessly for uh, for Wi-Fi access to this device. Um, so we had good reasons uh, to use a material uh, that would not block radio signals, um, or at least block them very very slightly. Um, at the same time, trying to make something tough. Uh, and then on top of that, trying to make something that could manage heat, uh, and 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 we've done that. Well, I'm sure uh, uh, people will beat these up enough that uh, we'll see perhaps what the limits are as far as ambient temperature being very high, uh, power demands being very high, um, and uh, and I guess we'll we'll find out from uh, from you folks if this thing can be stressed to the point where it just keeps shedding the heat. Um, there's uh, uh, quite a bit of venting. Um, and th th these events serve two purposes. Um, one of the challenges in making a hardened enclosure that can't be uh, metal, um, and a hardened enclosure that has so many entry points that, uh, you know, unless this was, was being built mill spec and it was going to cost probably ten times what it is, you're not sealing all that stuff. So pretty early on you, you wind up admitting that, uh, that if this thing gets drenched or splashed, um, yeah, water's going to get inside. So at least the nature of the design is that uh, is that water can get in, but of course it also drains back out, at least if this is being uh, held in the normal attitude, sitting on a countertop or whatever. Um, and you'll see in a second here, inside the uh, the electronics are are uh, essentially cantilevered uh, within the case. They're, they're not simply, like, say, screwed to the bottom um, where any any liquids that get in there and happen to pool would contact them. Um, so that said, what we're going to do is uh, uh, these two screws need to be backed out slightly for the case to open. So I'll do that quickly. We had hoped to make it a completely tool-free open and close. It didn't work out that uh, that easily. Um, but uh, you know, any good design is a series of compromises. So the lid, as you can see, is that quarter-inch thick HDPE. It's got the uh, 
the end piece. It's kind of hard to see, but when it's closed, the rear end is in fact two pieces, not one. But in any event, that's the inside of the D-hap. Um, uh, if you if you get your hands on one of these and get into it a little bit, you're probably going to be surprised with just how small this thing really is, considering everything that's inside it. Um, uh, there, there is a, <laughs> there's, we, we've had to do things like shaving connectors. For example, the this this RCA uh, uh, out connector that's uh, that's connected to the Pi, and in turn is remoted um, here to the front. Um, you know, we actually have to, to shave the 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 over molded uh, uh, housing of that RCA connector down just to get it to fit. And if you look at this and think that we could have moved it this direction and created some clearance, you see here is the HDMI uh, output on the Pi. Um, so the view you have here, of course, we've got the DVAP dongle. This uh, this machine, the DHAP, will work with either of the two versions, um, the 70 centimeter. Um, or the uh, or the two meter, um, uh, and in this scenario, you see the standard stubby antenna, um, and I realize it's horizontal. Uh, if you had uh, transmission or reception issues, and they were, you thought they were going to be helped by by getting that antenna vertical, but you still had it enclosed, there's no reason you couldn't stand it up on its side and uh, therefore make that antenna vertical. Um, uh, the other uh, the other way you can implement. Uh, the, the, the DVAP and its antenna is here on the back we have a standard SMA connector. Um, it's a little hard to see, we might be able to see it here in a minute, but uh, this connector has a pigtail that can be brought up here and connected directly to the DVAP, which is awesome because of course at that point you can put whatever you want to put on there in terms of an antenna, um, something that makes sense for a, a, a 10 milliwatt transceiver. Um, this is a, a fairly common uh, nickel metal hydride uh, battery. Um, we're definitely fans of nickel metal hydride. Um, uh, this particular one is composed of uh, 10 AA batteries. It's, uh, it's uh, a 2.2 amp hour battery, about 27 watt hours. Uh, you know, very, very, uh, very tough, um, a pretty long life in terms of recharge cycle, somewhere in the 4 to 500 range. Um, and at least uh, so far on paper and with initial tests, you know, you're looking at basically running this system probably, uh, of course it has so much to do with, with, uh, with, with transmission versus reception, but uh, figure anywhere from 5 to 10 hours is about what this thing will run. Um, and that's if you, if you don't charge it um, while you're running it, which you can do. So in any event, uh, the DVAP, of course, and the battery. Now, if, uh, if for some reason you want to get under the hood and play, uh, we wanted to make it easy, and frankly, these things are tough to build, so we wanted to make it easy on our guys on the bench, too, to be able to, to piece this thing together. Um, so what you do is you back out one screw, and not all the way, um, a half inch or so. And what that does is it releases this this uh, this chassis, um, and, and there's, there's some logic here, too, that the, the, the chassis is held at three points, but it's deliberately a, a little sparse. There's some flex to this thing. Um, and, and in a sense, that's, that's a first line of defense against impact. Because what you have is the pie is suspended uh, to the underside, attached to the underside of this chassis. You've got the weight of the battery here that acts as a damper from the contact points. And then the, this, this chassis is cantilevered out. And, of course, you've got the DVAP. So you've got the most delicate aspects kind of suspended here. And if the thing took a hit, and I'm not making claims because it's, uh, that's a pretty crazy math to try to figure that stuff out, but if this thing took a hit, it is true that by the time that impact travels through this structure and starts to, to, to affect the electronics, it's been dampened somewhat. Um, so in any case, we're going to open this up. In order to do so, we pull the 8th inch stereo jack and the RCA video jack off of the Pi. Um, that's simply because there isn't enough uh, 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 room, enough free length on these two cables. Once you've done that, this pretty readily rotates up out of the way. So once you've done that, you can see the guts. Here's our Raspberry Pi. It's the B version, so it's a 512 megabyte Raspberry. Um, 
the the two USB ports uh, over here is the SD card. The DHAP ships with a, an SD card that's already been imaged correctly um, to to run the DVAP. Um, that's not to say you can't play around with it, but at least it's ready to go. Um, the uh, the battery has a quick disconnect, so if you did actually need to replace the thing, you could do so pretty quickly. HDMI here, Ethernet here. We don't have the cable in; uh, it's, it gets awfully tight. But uh, there's a pigtail from the Ethernet to the the back here. Um, again, the eighth inch mini, the RCA uh, video. Here's the USB micro, which powers the Pi. That is being driven by a, a small buck converter, which is hooked uh, into the 12 volt battery. Um, the, uh, the the Pi itself is also uh, mounted thanks to uh, some small rubber uh, shock absorbers. It's uh, that's another attempt to keep things um, isolated from impact. Um, you can see. We've got a, a little raceway here to try to clean things up, keep stuff organized. Um, our, uh, our DC socket for charging. Uh, this, will, this will charge off of our 5 watt solar panel and it also ships with a, a wall wart that will charge this, uh, this DC port. Um, and uh, on the front you've got the USB port. This one is power only. That's directly into that little buck converter. This one is into the Pi, so this is data. So you can put like a, a, a keyboard dongle or something on here, uh, or whatever you wanted to. Um, uh, this is the HDMI interface, main on-off button, voltmeter to show you the condition of the battery bank as, as best you can just by volts. Um, some beefy little rubber uh, bumpers, and these are not just stick-on, that's stainless steel screws securing that stuff. Um, if folks are familiar with our stuff, we, we, we don't mess around uh, uh, with, uh, with cutting any corners, whether you can see them or not. Um, in any event, uh, this is the uh, the DHAP by uh, Harden Power Systems, um, and uh, I, I I suppose it's honest to say that uh, you know I'm hesitant to say that we really invented anything. There's a lot of guys making neat stuff in their garage that does by and large the same thing, but what we have done is uh, is with a lot of CAD work, a lot of prototyping, um, a lot of collaboration. Um, we have taken these these disparate components and put them in a, a package that man if you could make this thing smaller I don't know how you do it without uh, without pixie dust or something this is it it's not getting any smaller than this um, uh, and uh, it's a, a reasonably hardened case um, uh, you know we're, we're accustomed to to military search and rescue and ecom and, and stuff like that paramedics you want to talk about people that are tough on stuff those those folks uh, um, can just can beat the snot out of things um, and uh, uh, I'm very confident in saying that uh, if if you if you treat this as well as you treat your handheld radio it's going to be just fine um, in any event folks I really appreciate your time uh, we're excited about this thing uh, for a brief period of time we have pre-launch pricing uh, $260 on this machine uh, that's going to go up to $290 here in uh, a couple weeks or so um, uh, and there's some uh, some neat stuff coming variations on this theme down the road but in any event thank you so much for your support um, and uh, thank you so much to our repeat customers and our referring customers uh, the customers that have turned into friends and the people that have collaborated and supported us it's awesome uh, we're blessed to be a part of it. Um, our website is portableuniversalpower.com. Our YouTube channel is Hardened Power. Our Facebook is Hardened Power. And our Twitter is Hardened Power. Um, please subscribe or, or uh, send a friend request or just shoot a message or uh, call us at the office. The numbers are, are on the website. Um, hey, once again, everybody, thank you so much. This is Bill Harrison. Uh, I, guess, uh, I guess this time I can say... Uh, uh, out and 73. Thank you.